Hello, I hope everyone had a good new year. If you've ever wanted to know the easiest and quickest way to make those text message UGCs, this is the easiest way that I'm aware of. I do apologize for taking a while to make this video. I have said for the longest time I'd make it, but unfortunately I did quit for a while. But I do want to come back because I really honestly do miss making YouTube videos. So for this video, I'm going to make timestamps. If you've used Bender before, just go to where the UGC like making starts. If you haven't and you have a mouse, definitely try and get used to the controls. Have a look around. Um, if you have a mouse to look around the map, you just want to move your middle button, click it and then just like drag it around. Um, scrolling in and scrolling out helps you zoom in and zoom out. Pressing shift and then moving your middle mouse button will help you move around. Just like play with it, like have a look, see what's like easiest for you and just get used to the controls because you're going to need to use them a lot when you make things. Blender might look very daunting, however, you, literally most of this stuff you will not be able to, you will not need to use like at all. So don't, don't be afraid with it. Um, on the left side, you, you'll have like the move button, the rotate, the scale. Have a look at them. They're like things you'll be using a lot. And then on the right side where it says like scene collection, those are where your like little items will be. Um, but yeah hopefully if you have a look at that it'll make it a lot easier so first of all you want to add a cube so you can go to the top left click add or you can press shift a which is what i tend to do go into mesh and then click cube so we will make this round but for now we're going to make a rectangle um so click the scale go into the green one and make it wider and then go into the red one and make it thinner um you can custom size whatever you think is nice i think this is completely fine after this you're going to want to go in edit mode um clicking tab helps you to switch between edit mode and object mode or you can click on the top left and you can select edit mode manually um but the top left is how you know which mode you're in so make sure it says edit mode then just next to edit mode, you'll see these three little squares. Click on the second one, and that's gonna help you to basically select the lines. The last one will select like the whole like space. The left one will click a little vertice. So all you wanna do is select every corner. There'll be four corners, that's literally it. Then you wanna press control B. Um, or you can go on the left and click bevel, but this is gonna round up your edges. Um, when you hold that, what you wanna do is with your mouse, with the middle button you want to scroll in and out because what that's going to do is make it smooth if you just like bevel it it'll be quite like horrible like jagged but if you actually scroll like in and out you can like figure out the settings that will make it really smooth so it's a really nice like set like oval now already if you've seen my old ugc like tutorial this is so much easier and quicker i just can't believe i didn't figure this out earlier so now we're just going to do that little line where like the message is coming from. Um, so make sure you're still in edit mode, go on the second little square. You want to click an edge and then basically just pull it out. Um, you can use the green and then the blue one to basically make it a perfect shape. With this one I did that but I also did the one next to it to just give it a bit more volume. Um, but that's literally what it is. It's really quick, it's really easy. Um, now we're going to do the writing. So firstly, you want to click tab again to go into object mode or you can manually select that. Um, you want to press shift A, which will allow you to select a text. So when you click tab, it will basically allow you to write in it. If you click tab again, you can move it. So if I click tab, I'm just gonna write Christmas because I recorded this video while it was Christmas. Um, I'm then just, just gonna move it around to make sure that it's like flat. Um, so when I rotate it, the easiest way to make sure it definitely goes like 90 degrees is if you basically go onto the rotate, you hold onto the green line, literally type in 90. It will rotate 90 degrees. Um, it's the easiest way without like making it a bit like crooked and horrible. And then just line it up, put it wherever you want to put it. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. Honestly, do whatever you want. You can maybe change the color a little bit to make sure you can definitely like see it vividly without it being like stuck in the object. But there's also like a line around the text so you can easily see this. After you do that, now you just want to add in the colors. So you want to click on UV editing. After that, now you want to turn your text into a mesh you can't like type in it. Click on the text on like the scene collection. Um, you want to right click and you want to do convert to a mesh. That's going to mean if you press tab, you won't be able to write in it anymore, but it means it will now be like an object that you can add things to. After that, select or press A, then you want to press tab and go into edit mode. 
then you're gonna press A again or select all of it and you'll see it. If you see like a little line at the bottom and you don't really see that like, the lettering problem like properly or something, what you want to do is you want to go into the thing that isn't showing up properly and you want to press U to unravel it. So press U and then unwrap or you can go in the left side where it says UV and you can unwrap it there as well. Then you will be able to see all of it when you select it again. So for my colours, I want the writing to be one and the bubble to be another colour. So I'm just going to scale down the text a little bit by just selecting one in object mode and then pressing tab to go in edit mode. Um, I'm then going to do the exact same for the bubble. I'm just going to put it on the other side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this onto Photoshop. You don't have to do this, but I'm literally just going to use, like you can use paint.net to just make one half one colour and the other half the other colour. To export this, click UV and then you want to go into export UV layout and it's basically just going to save that as an image. So it's going to look something like this. I just do this so I know like where the objects are, um, but make sure you draw over the original image. Then just export as a PNG and then go into image, open and then just click the image that you downloaded. So now you just want to add the colour onto the object that you made. Um, but make sure you don't select them together, make sure you individually select them or it will not work properly at all. So click one, the text or the cube, go into the little material tab, click new, click on the yellow little dot and you're going to image texture. Then you can click the little image, um, left click on it and then you can just select the image that you have. Click, hold on to Z and move your mouse down um, because that will then allow you to see basically the colour and see if it's okay. Do that for the other one make sure you individually do this or it won't work and then that's literally it then you can make it put it into your like roblox game and you can turn it into a accessory if you need any help or any support anything feel free to join my discord server it'll be in my um the bio below um but yeah i really hope if you do try this good luck i hope it goes well adjust it the way you want to do it you can add anything to it you can change colors or anything but if you do give this a go good luck and if you do need any support just let me know